praise our living Redeemer. We want to praise and appreciate the presence of our Savior in this clinic. In the name of our Redeemer, our Helper, be highly exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. Our text today is taken from the book of Haggai. Haggai chapter 1, verses 5 to 9. Haggai chapter 1, verses 5 to 9. Now therefore, thou say the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. You have sown much and bring in little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but you are not filled with drink. You clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that henneth wages, henneth wages to put it into a bag with O. Thou say the Lord of hosts, consider your way. Go up to the mountain and bring wood and build the house and I will take pleasure in it and I will be glorified, say the Lord. Nay, you look for much, and lo, it came to little. And when you brought it home, I did blow upon it. Why, say the Lord of hosts, because of my house, that is waste, and ye run every man unto his own house. May the Lord empower his word in the clinic, in this house, in Jesus' name. Amen. This year you will get there in the mighty name of Jesus. Nothing will stop you. God will favor you. God will cover your errors. He will flavor your effort. The Lord will teach you and he will lead you to a path of righteousness in the mighty name of Jesus. It will lead you into a path of righteousness in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. My beloved viewers, I want to welcome you to another brand edition again. I want to remind you today that intimacy is the key to access. Where others are waiting or they are queuing, you can have or you can receive a direct access when there's intimacy. That implies the level in which you access a thing or a place depend on your relationship with that thing or with that place. The Lord told us in the scripture through the prophet Agai today that consider your way, said the Lord. What does that imply? It's telling us to take a hard look on ourselves. I mean, honest look, the Lord means, on herself. He's talking about a sincere look of yourself. Consider your standing with me, say the Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus, every good seed you have been sowing, this time they shall bring forth in Jesus' name. When the house of God lie waste, life become miserable. Begin to go through tumults. People begin to experience everything that was written in verse 6. And you sow much and you bring in little. And people begin to walk like an elephant and eat like an ant. You drink and you don't have enough. And you clothe, you are not warm, and sickness come. And even according to him, the little you try to put together, it was blew away by an unforeseen situation. I pray in the name of Jesus, every of your seed today will bring God forth good food in the mighty name of Jesus. Your little effort, the Lord will flavor them in the name of Jesus. The house of the Lord lie waste. And everyone 
is taking care of their own house. Today, the power to kill, to keep intact the house of the Lord, the Lord will reveal unto you in Jesus' name. And you will receive it right now in the name of Jesus, the house of the Lord. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 19. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 19. Talking about the house of the Lord. What the Bible said. What is it? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye have not your own. For ye are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in his spirit, which are God's. Praise the living Jesus. You are the temple that house God. There is a place in your heart that house God. When that place is lie waste, life become miserable. What is the state of the temple of your heart? Is it untidy? Are the, are the temple, are the house be polluted? God is telling you today that you should consider your way the way you take care of my temple. You have invested much in your house, which is the flesh. You spend a lot on this flesh. But that corner, that art that is needed to be given unto Lord, you left it untidy. You let it polluted. And life become miserable from now on. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will empower you. You invest much in the temple of God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Invest in your heart, in your spirit mind. Your spirit man, invest more on him, more than the flesh, more than this, your body you are seeing. And as the Lord will dwell, Things will work right in the name of Jesus. My beloved viewers, I'm here to encourage you. Do not walk the way you walked 2015 and expect a result. Jeremiah put it in another way. Jeremiah chapter, Jeremiah chapter 7, verses 3. Jeremiah 7, verses 3. Thou said the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, amend your way and your doing, and I will cause you to dwell in this land. Praise the living Jesus. The Lord is telling you to amend your way. Invest much. Keep my house, my temple. Keep it tidy. God wants to speak to you. He wants to relate with you concerning that situation. But he wants a, a conducive and a tidy place because it's an holy God. You want a clean and a tidy place. A place that is holy, that is pure. That's why the Bible enjoy us. That we should preserve and make our body a living sacrifice, a temple for the Lord. Where it can be house, that is his house. Where he, he, an altar, where he relate with us. I want to encourage you today. As you take care of the hotel of God of your heart. As you make that your house, that your heart, a living temple, a living house that is void and free of gossip, of unforgiveness, of selfishness, of backbiting. I want to assure you, with God, all things are possible. And God will dwell there. And everything will become possible. My beloved viewers, when you are expecting an earthly visitor, you clean up your house. You are, in, you want, you are, you are expecting a diplomat. You tidy all places. Not to talk of the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. It is identity that make and determine things that relate. 
it is identity that makes things to relate. A cat cannot relate with a pig. There is no identity. A dog cannot relate with a fish. There is no identity. When the place, your house, your the temple is clean, then you can relate with the Holy God. Then it can speak to you concerning your health, concerning that business, concerning that career, concerning that, that finances. And God needed a well-furnished place to speak to us. He needed a well-furnished place to speak to us. Don't keep God outside for long, my beloved viewers. Don't keep him outside for long. The earlier you are making a place to dwell in your heart, the earlier the better. He's still standing at the door. The Bible revealed it. I said, behold, I stand at the door in Revelation 3.20. He's still standing at the door of your heart, still knocking. Get it tidy. I'm here to assist you. Because the level of your relationship will determine what you receive. Beloved viewers, I beseech you in the mercy of the Lord. This year is the year of our fulfillment. I've been pronounced by our daddy. In the year of our greatness. The Lord will take you there in Jesus' name. He wants to relate with you. He need a home. Invest much in the temple of, of God of your heart than this, than this body. And I assure you, things will work perfect in the mighty name of Jesus. In your word, short declaration and confession. I want you to tell the Lord, I say, Father, I, 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 add, I add you knocking at the door of my heart. I heard about you today. Come and be my Lord and my Savior. Come and take charge. Come and rule. Let your kingdom come in my life. Thank you for accepting me. In Jesus' name. Amen. I want to congratulate you, my beloved viewers. If you have just confessed that you're to a prayer, you have more than enough. In the name of Jesus. Because he said in the book of John 15, verses 5, that you can do nothing without him. Now that you have enthroned him, now that he has his place in your heart, you have given him a place, a house, he will bless you. He will satisfy your test. Disease will not have access to you again. In the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be. For testimony, prayer, and counseling, you can see our contact on the screen. Do not hesitate to contact us. I assure you, there's the mercy of God in this house and this clinic. Join us next Thursday for another brand edition of Faith Clinic. Till then, stay connected, and God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen.